Early on Tuesday in Columbus, Ohio, police shot an unarmed black man, warning that this footage is graphic. The man in this video who was shot and killed by the police is Donovan Lewis. He was 20 years old. The police went to the residence with a dog to pursue a warrant for mishandling a firearm, assault, and domestic violence. They were greeted by two of the people who were at the apartment, and they asked if there was anyone else in the apartment, and that's when they went to the bedroom. You can see that the officer shot pretty much as soon as the door was opened. Reports from people on the scene say that he had a vape pen next to him. Local news ran this headline. They say that he reached back behind his pillow, and now we know that he was putting a vape pen down that was next to him in bed. We can hear that the officer fired the weapon well before we had a chance to even see what was going on in the room, let alone see him put down a vape pen or reach behind the pillow. Donovan Lewis was shot within one second of that Officer Anderson opening the door. Police Chief Bryant said that there's an ongoing investigation and despite reviewing the footage, the officer has not been suspended. You can hear the police officer ask Ricky Anderson to turn off his body camera, so we're not really sure what went down here after this point. This video started circulating on Twitter, and people started wondering, why were the police there? What kind of guy was this? Was he violent? What was he being arrested for? And none of that really even matters, because the police were there to make an arrest because he was accused of a crime. He did not have a trial yet. The police's role is not to murder citizens. This is a police officer taking it upon himself to again execute a citizen who was an unarmed black man. And even if this person, Donovan Lewis, was found guilty of a crime, there is no capital punishment currently in the state of Ohio. He couldn't even get the death penalty if he was guilty of a crime. Unfortunately, civil rights attorneys who handle cases like this are all too busy because this happens all too often.